What's up, Pan Dudes? Peter Von Panda here. Just got a watch delivered. I am stoked about it. Took it out of its shipping container and I'm going to unbox it here with you. True unboxing. This, as you can see, is from, I'm going to say it, Grand Frank, Stockholm. But I think maybe it's Grand Frank. Kind of like Frank Mueller or something like that. Anyway, um, I don't know exactly how you pronounce it, but I want to tell you that I picked it up because I thought it looked good. Uh, this is going to be really good news here. I'm going to show you what I think looks like, or presumably is going to be a kick-ass watch, but then secondly, I've got some good news here for you at the end, so stick around. Uh, here's the box. Oh, it says, with love from Sweden. Oh, those Swedes. I love you, Swedes, especially the, the hot ladies. And then look there. Um, the uh, manual down here says, oh, happy day. I know that song. Grand Franc watches, and uh, here's the booklet. So it looks like you'll have all of the information you need to use your Miyota quartz movement. GrandFranc.com, GrandFranc.com, depending on how you want to pronounce it. And let's go ahead and take a look at the watch itself. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Right here, and I picked this out because I thought it looked phenomenal. I hope you agree too. The first thing you'll notice is that it is a chronograph. This is a white dial. It's another kind of micro brand. And actually, I might not even say micro brand because I'm not actually sure how many watches they sell. But Grand Franc or Grand Frank, uh, the website has a lot of men's accessories like ties and clothing and watches in the accessories category. And I saw this and I was like, man, that's kind of cool looking. It just kind of has a little IWC look. You know, it's kind of a traditional chronograph, but it's contemporary. It has a lot of really fine detail. Let's, um, as I put it on here, let's take a look at, look at this deployment clasp, polished to match the case. Pretty nice little deployment clasp. Uh, a crocodile style leather band here, genuine leather, and it's in blue. I, I just really kind of dug this color combination. Some, some loops here to hold this, this end down, Grand Frank, Grand Frank is uh, kind of etched, laser etched it looks like, or, or blasted into the buckle right there. Feels comfortable. The, the band is not overly stiff, although you can see here it's padded. It has a little thickness to it, but it feels good right out of the gate. This probably isn't the best shirt to wear it with in terms of the matchy matchy, but um, I like the fact that it's got blue and white. It's kind of New Englandy. It feels a little summery. Uh, and it's just kind of cool. I, I, I love chronographs, obviously. I've made no uh, bones about that in previous video. But I love classic good looks, but yet with a little bit of contemporary flair. Now, this isn't a huge watch. Some of you might disagree with that. It's 43 millimeters in diameter, which I think kind of really uh, nestles in that sweet spot of watches. You can see here the crystal is sticking up from the case a little bit here and it's it's a curved crystal i don't know if you can see that there but curved crystal raised a little bit from the from the case the case thickness is 12 millimeters so again no problems here lots of yeah this deployment class works nicely i like that good shape uh, so just all around it kind of really resides in that sweet spot a nice curved case it might be a little hard to see here but you know, no sharp edges, really nice polishing. My fingerprints uh, aren't doing any favors to the case, but polished all the way around, nice and even. Uh, you know, you've got a couple of pushers here, look like pistons, uh, cylinder pistons to me, but you know, kind of flat plunger style. And let's go ahead and see what it does. So if I hit that pusher, we've got a ticking here in that lower center subdial. Hit it again and resets there. The subdials might be a little hard to see here. Let's see if we can focus in for you. Um, have a little bit of texture, kind of like little tiny vinyl records. Concentric circles, and that's kind of nice. It's really subtle, but the color is exactly the same color. May look like it's not exactly, but they're exactly the same kind of bright white. You know, with just a little bit of matte finish to it. Now, it's not a highly reflective white dial. And, and I like that because it, it doesn't kind of shine light right back in your face, really, obviously. But it's nice that the subdials have 
a, a little bit of texture there. <laughs> like I said, it might be a little hard to see there. You can kind of see it there a little bit. Uh, the dials are kind of sunk in. As you can see, they definitely sit below that main dial. And then applied silver markers, kind of the theme here is white and silver. Um, applied silver, uh, like arrowhead markers at each of the hours. And then uh, printed, like screen printed black uh, indicators at the minute and even the seconds. And then you've got the 5, 10, 15 printed on the inside of that bezel. Just a lot of detail. I know that it's, I'm kind of bringing the watch right up to you here so it, you're, you're seeing all this, but what I really like is that when they put a lot of detail in a watch, I don't know, for whatever reason, that just rubs me the right way. I like watches that are easy to read, easy to use, but have a lot of detail because it kind of shows the effort that a company will go into putting into their watch. Uh, the Grand Franc, as well as all of the hands and applied markers are like polished silver. And so that's kind of nice. It ties in nicely and um, that, is, that is silver and as you can see, kind of slightly raised, kind of like a um, like applied paint or something like that. Really slender, needle-like hands across everything. Classic good looking, and, but doesn't look dated. You know, to me, I look at this watch and I'm like, oh, this is a modern watch with classic good looks. There's nothing about this where I'd say, oh, this is my grandfather's watch and handed it down to me. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but it just doesn't, uh, doesn't suggest that at all. Um, there is a G on the crown there. As you can see, it's kind of rounded with a knurled coin edge on it. Um, you know, the shape of the watch is kind of cool. I just, you know, I, I used to have an IWC that was not a whole lot different than this and uh, kind of felt and looked like it. Obviously, that's a little bit of a different type of watch, but, uh, you know, it looks like a, a bead blasted back here. Stainless steel, five atmospheres waterproof with love from Sweden. Man, the Swedes just love us. I'm kind of getting Stockholm Syndrome with this uh, this company here. So, um, you know, a lot of traditional elements. The, the lugs are traditional. The band is traditional. Even the deployment class is pretty traditional. Uh, stainless steel hardware across the board. I, I like the blue and the white. I'm not sure what this is inspiring me of, but one of my ball watches uh, has a blue band and I just really like it. It kind of adds a little bit of sportiness, a little whimsy, and it kind of says you're youthful and playful and you're not all stodgy with a black band and a gold case, etc., etc. right? Really, really cool. Comes in this box. This model is called the Montpelier White Chronograph and that makes a lot of sense since it's a white chronograph. I will also say that they do ship for free, there's good news and bad news. The good news is this watch is not brutally expensive. For a lot of style, I can tell you that it's got a nice weight, but it's not overly heavy. You know, it just feels well-constructed. This is not, by any means, one of the cheap, cheap watches that I've been showing you. That's where it gets to the bad news. This watch is about 200 bucks, just a smidge under $200. So it's not, they're not giving them away. But on the flip side, 175 bucks, which I think is the retail price on this watch, is not a lot of money for a decent watch. I know a lot of you have asked about, you know, uh, movement watches or other brands, and they're at the $85 to $100 price point. This watch is remarkably cheap for having a deployment clasp and a leather band, and really as much style and I think as much thought and detail that you get with this. Um, so on one hand, it's not a giveaway price. It's a pretty expensive watch. Uh, but compared to the watch world, it's it's a good deal. Now, here's where I get to the really good news. This watch, I committed when I got it that I was going to give it away. And now I'm totally backing off that because I want it so bad. No, I love this watch. I think I would wear this. I'd be happy to put it in my watch box. But I'm going to stick to it as I have with other things that I've committed to giving away. Uh, this watch is going to go give away, be given away to one of you. Uh, viewers out there, Canada and U.S. only at the moment, just because it gets so bloody expensive for me to try to ship it anywhere. Um, so if you like this watch, and hopefully I think when you get it, you'll like it even more than uh, what you're seeing here, then go ahead, like this video, subscribe to my channel. I've got lots of other stuff coming up. But this watch in particular, maybe the most expensive giveaway I've given yet. Uh, and so to be entered in that, just comment below. 
please, in the comments, I don't care where it is, you can comment on anything you want, but put out the country that you're in so that when my comment picker, my random comment picker, uh, picks a comment, it will be uh, easy to verify that you live in the place where I'm going to be able to ship this to. So just make sure you write the country you're in, USA, Canada, America, whatever you like. And uh, we will pick this next Saturday, which is going to be October 29th, 2016. And uh, we'll get a winner and send this out to you so that you can enjoy this. Check out Grand Franc, Grand Frank, Stockholm, and a lot of their other stuff. I think if you're kind of into... Uh, being a, a hardcore metrosexual, you're going to find a lot of cool stuff. Uh, the watches, notwithstanding, obviously are really cool. And if you don't like this color combo, they definitely have these watches and other color combos too. So check it out. The Montpelier White Chronograph Watch from Grand Franc. Peter Von Panda. Out.